Good morning, this is Christy from the Be The Light YouTube channel. And I thank you so much for stopping by and listening to pieces of my heart. I give you love today, tomorrow, and continuously. Um, this is a video that, um, of course, is about um, my process or my journey. Um, but everything that I share with you, I hope brings a mes message um, that will help you in your journey. Um, I was given a message from God today and um, I am really, really tired. Um, I was awoken by Him so early this morning and um, so I am a lacking sleep. Um, so I'm going to do my best in um, giving you this message and um, hoping, hopefully that it will make sense to you. Um, if it doesn't work out, I'm just going to delete it and try again tomorrow. Um, um, but the Bible speaks about running towards the prize. And, um, you know, when we do that, we are on our individual journey and it's supposed to be towards a purpose where at the end of this this marathon um, we will receive our re award um, whether it's cash um, or you know that check um, or a gold medal anything like that it is for a purpose of completion of what's taking place and if you use that in the context of your purpose in your life your journey then towards the end of this you know which is the journey of self-healing and self-awareness self-acceptance self-love we have to do that that is what our purpose really is until we acquire and complete this stage here of self-healing then we're more able to rise to who we are and that is when our prize our true existence begins when we our are our true self who has been healed it is now living a life that is with great purpose and you might be thinking that you are actually living a life of great purpose like I know I am living a life of great purpose today and I have been for you know um, ever since my health journey began and for this um, a year and a half that I have been in my awakening stage but again this is still the journey of purpose that I think I know and I understand. When we actually step into that higher level of who we are and that divine purpose, if that is your choice, that is, you will be doing it um, as a result of the light that is given through you. It's um, like the same concept that if you are a minister, um, God is supposed to be working through you and you rely, relay a message to other individuals. Um, so your light is coming from someone else. It's going to come from a higher being, God. Um, and you know, God will allow other higher beings who um, do exist to assist you in your journey, whether it is the angels, your soul family, God or Jesus, um, other ascended masters, whatever it is, um, you have the capability of having that um, beautiful light work through you. Um, and so then I was shown um, someone who was, who was jumping into um, a bed of water and it looked like a lake for myself, a very deep bed of water. And if you know my 
some of my journey. I have been terrified of water. I have um, nearly drowned several times when I was um, younger, about you know six years old. A lot of things took place when I was six years old. <laughs> and then later on in my childhood. Um, so I have had a fear of water and it's something that I have been trying to conquer and I don't know if I have because I haven't gone back to the beach um, since um, really stepping into my faith and my um, true light. So we'll see how that goes um, when I go back to the beach sometime hopefully this, this summer. Um, but the purpose of when you jump into a bed of water, you are actually taking a plunge here and you are being brave and you know that everything is going to work out. Um, when you take the plunge, you are risking everything to just jump in and assuming that things are going to work out and you're going to have a great time, whatever it is, you're taking the plunge into something that you know but don't know the outcome to. And so that tells me well, on my journey that, you know, um, and also the person who um, was running um, in my message was very close to me in my vision, which means that I am towards the end of, towards the end where I can receive this great prize for myself on this journey. Um, in my past, the individual who was running was going away from me most of the time. So that meant I had a long way to go. Um, but now this, this woman was actually almost, you know, right here at my eye level and um, right upon me where I was looking at her upper body instead of her full figure, knowing that she was far off. Um, and the way that I do my messages is when I'm receiving it from God from my own personal life is I take it as a an er interpretation as you are doing this and as you need to do this because I am always trying to better myself regardless of what God is telling me I know what I am doing and I know how well I am doing and I know where I'm going um, so I know most of the time, all of the time really, that he is praising me for my jobs well done, the job well done, and telling me my progress. But because I am someone who always wants to learn and wants to improve, and I am humble in my own success, I take it and flip it to make it, you need to continue doing this and stay on your course, okay, to make it a lesson, always making it an opportunity and a lesson for myself so that I am always my best self. When you get too um, cocky about your journey, thinking you are above things, you stop learning and therefore you can go back. You'll, so most of the times, those are all the type of people who go back instead of move forward and grow. Um, so that's what I do, and I flip it to definitely hear more of what I need to do. Um, so my message for myself is to continue running towards the prize. You are getting so much closer, and it's time to be brave and take that plunge. Although that person had already dove in and took the plunge, again, I flip it to make it a lesson. So really, what God is telling me is, you're running closer to the prize. You're almost there, Christy. You have demonstrated your bravery and that you're ready to take the plunge. Um, or that you have taken the plunge. Um, but again, like I said, I make everything a lesson. And this is what you need to do, Christy. So continue running towards that prize. Continue being brave and don't ever stop doubting yourself and take that plunge when it's necessary. Um, so that's the message I'm trying to give to you today. 
And again, you know your heart, you know your journey, and you know how much progress you have done in your life. But everything should be a continuous opportunity and a lesson for you. So here I am, you know, even though this message is from myself, this is what God wants from all of us. He wants all of us to continue on this journey, being successful until we get to that prize um, where we can truly live out our existence and um, show our bravery throughout this journey and don't fear just jumping and um, taking a chance at um, what is available to you. Um, so I know I've rambled on a little bit um, about this. Like I said, I am just really, really exhausted. And um, so that's part of the reason for it. Um, so I hope this kind of helps you out in your journey. And um, you are moving closer, regardless of, you know, the tears you've cried, the fear you feel, um, how hard this journey might be for you. Um, you are doing something with intent to get somewhere and it does show your bravery. It shows everything about who you are and you have to take those risks. This type of path, you know, is the one that is least traveled because it takes so much inner work. It takes us facing that darkness within us. It takes us being able to look on in a mirror and see everything that you have done, everything that you have failed at, everything that you that has made you feel horrible and low and weak all of your life and creating a new individual or actually seeing yourself in a different light. You know, that reflection was what you have been trained to believe was you. Brought on by trauma, brought on by um, what people have, you know, brainwashed you to believe in other negative experiences that you got yourself into. And you are here for a reason. Um, and it's up to you to keep moving forward until you get to that finish line. So stand tall and be brave and don't be afraid to continue on in this um, type of journey. It's the most rewarding one that you'll ever find. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.